set within a semi-tropical rainforest valley, surrounded by volcanic peaks, powered by Red Arc. Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2020. The Marlin Escape Deluxe clocks in at just 450 kilograms. A super lightweight opens up a whole host of remote camping possibilities. It's practical, it has everything you need for a comfortable campsite, it's roomy, it sets up in a breeze, it has masses of free storage, and this ingenious insulated tent canvas construction will have you warm on cold nights and keep you cool during searing hot days. Sometimes simplicity is best. The Marlin Escape Deluxe will have you resting easy for all the right reasons. Let's see what the judges made of it. The Marlin Escape Deluxe takes things back to when people first started making campers. Kath, did you appreciate the Marlin simplicity? Look, I did, Aaron. Uh, this camper offers that promise of a traditional camping experience, but without all of that traditional discomfort that you used to get when you were lying on the floor. It's a soft floor camper that I can probably set up within about 10 minutes. A couple of key innovations there in terms of that insucel, silver foil lining between the roof and the ceiling. So you've now got an insulated living area under canvas and those concertina poles, I thought they were a real winner. Yeah, the side pole camper is just something we don't see very much anymore. It's good to see one back in the mix of camper trailer of the year. Erecting the basic tent is under five minutes. A great little camper, nothing that you don't need and everything that you do. It's got a battery, it's got a water tank, it's got a kitchen, it's got a solar panel, it's got a gas hot water system. And it's on a box trailer. You can take your family camping on the weekend, come home and then throughout the week use it as a box trailer for whatever you're doing. With that, you've got all these well-known brands that have been uniquely put in together on one package. You know what I really liked was that really uh, sensible use of a combination of zips and Velcro. So that awning, yep, zip to the main body of the camper, but then the use of Velcro, so you can just slap those sides up and the awning sides come as standard as I understand, so you could slap those awning sides up in one or two minutes, give yourself a bit of shade, give yourself a bit of privacy, wham bam, thank you ma'am, you're, you're there. At 450 kilos, they've got a 300 kilo load capacity without having to have brakes, and without brakes means you don't have to have uh, brake control, which is probably another $400 by the time you get it fitted to your car. It uses an Alco coupling so that it works with a 50 mil ball, so you don't have to do anything fancy. It's light enough to be towed by any car on the registerable on the road, so you don't have to have some heavy duty four wheel drive to tow it around. Uh, you can do it with whatever car you got, tow bar on the back and away you go. Was its build quality up to scratch, David? Oh yeah, you get underneath and have a look, at everything's fine, all the welding's good. Uh, everything's just where it ought to be. It might be a, a basic camper, but it's got good bones. So a Southern Cross Trailers trailer underneath it, and they're a specialist trailer manufacturer, and then a 12 ounce tent on top. And then the kitchen, which is an option fitted to the trailer we saw today, comes from Drifter, who's a really well-known builder of kitchens and drawers and things for the, for the full drive market. And what about the, the fact that it was basic and simple? Was it um, up to scratch comfort-wise, Tim? Yes, it is. So a high-density foam mattress, the opportunity to zip all the wall panels off or open up the massive windows for lots and lots of ventilation. And then, of course, as mentioned, the insulated roof, which made a huge difference to the internal temperature. And what did it feel like on the tow ball out on the uh, 4x4 track, David? Oh. You wouldn't have even known it was there. It was just, it's just so light and little that you can almost effectively ignore the fact that this thing's attached to the drawbar. You could drag it anywhere over any obstacle. 450 kilos. And on leaf springs and a single axle, yep. competing against all those other things with independent suspension and going exactly the same places. So one of the things that stood out for me was the customer care of upsell service. Now it's only a two year warranty on the structure, the tent and the kitchen. Uh, and then there's an OEM warranty on all the supplied parts. But one of the cool things that Marlin do is everybody who buys a camper off them gets two nights in a local park to sit and learn about the camper with support from the factory. So just to learn the setup and the usability of everything. And that's a really nice standout sort of customer care thing they add. If you want to get into camper trailers without breaking the bank, I can't think of a better way to start it. Okay, uh, a basic simple camper but with everything you need for a comfortable campsite.